Look at this. This is the summer. This is delicious. My husband made an amazing recipe, his own. Oh no, I think he said he followed a recipe. The flavor here is so unique. He actually used some beer to make it. But it gives it a really nice flavor. I really like it. And I have this analogy that I got. Came into my mind. So this is flavorful, right? Well, the body of Christ, the true remnant, the ones that are actually following Jesus to the best of their ability, who are really seeking after him, who actually have a relationship with him, and they're trying to, to, to turn from those sins that they're convicted of, are really seeking him who are really feeding on his truth the truth not doctrines of demons not false heresies but actual truth that are getting revelation from the holy spirit right those those brothers and sisters in christ Who are really following the real Jesus, not this made up Jesus that misrepresents God, but the real Jesus have beautiful gifts and talents given by the Lord for the edifying and building up of the body of Christ. And God will work, and God works through us mightily. But unfortunately, people at the the like religious people are being like tasting it and then spitting it out. In the churches and religious people. And they don't see value in us. They don't see value in what we have to offer in Christ. And they just see flaws, burned spots, sick people. But didn't Jesus call the sick, not the righteous? They just see, oh, you got some issues. Oop, oop. Ooh, there's some dirtiness. Where's your bubbly, happy joyfulness? No! You can't come in here being broke down and beaten up and angry and having any wounds. No, you have to come all cleaned up. You have to act right all the time. We don't have the love to forbear with you. No, no, no. That's the churches. That's the religious people. They have no love to forbear with you. No, if you don't come in there all joyful and happy and all perfectly walking, oh no, if you got any stink in the spirit or any wounds, no, no, any stinky stuff, no, we don't, we don't deal with people that need help, no, they want you to come all nice and shoot, man, if you don't, well, they'll just kick you right out. But the scripture says we're supposed to value others better than ourselves. Which I'm working on. And. Um, to forbear with each other in love. To rebuke each other. To correct each other. To give scriptures. To edify. To comfort. But guess what? All of those things that we're supposed to be doing. The religious people don't do that. They don't do that. They just cast you out. They just trash you. They don't, they don't find any value in what, who you are in Christ. Nope. They are freaked out by it. Because they're not really walking with the Lord and they reject him. So, if you're listening to this and you're convicted, good. Praise the Lord. Ask him for forgiveness. He'll forgive you. You gotta seek him, okay? You gotta start loving people. 
and forbearing with them in love, and endeavoring to keep the unity in the spirit and not quick to cast them out. Okay? And for those of you who are in Christ, and you're like, dang, yes, that's what I've been going through. Man, I feel you, sister. I feel you, brother. You're not alone. Your brothers and sisters are suffering the same afflictions all over the world. I am actually not supposed to be eating this. This is for my husband. So, keep enduring. And even know that even though you were rejected and even though you were casted out, and even though you were wounded with, and in addition to you were already wounds, which I don't know where it is in the Bible, but it talks about that. It says that they're going to wound, they wound the wounded. So, um, yeah, you have to look it up. I know there, there's a scripture on it. It's somewhere in Isaiah. That's what they're doing to us, but you got to forgive them and go to the Lord. He's a comforter. He restores our soul and he feeds us with manna from heaven and seek him, pray to him, keep praying to him. Don't stop praying to him. He is an ever present help in times of trouble and he will, he will just help you get through this. Okay. Like no other per person can, nobody can help us like Jesus. Nobody can give us what Jesus gives us. He can do that through each other. So uh, let me just not say that because I'm, I'm learning to let people into my pain and not just Jesus. Um, I'm learning to be vulnerable and broken with other people and th let them comfort me. So, you know, your brothers and sisters can comfort you too. Look, uh, fellowship with other brothers and sisters. It says in the Thessalonians, I don't know if it was First Thessalonians 5.11, I think it is. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another as you do. Dude, this has been the hardest thing for me to let others comfort me. Because I'm like, no, Jesus comforts me only. But I'm trying to let people into my pain now. With God. And um, comfort me and hold me when I'm crying. So I'm trying to do that now. So I want to encourage you to fellowship with others and just keep enduring. I know it's hard, but Jesus is going to come back soon. And all of the suffering that we've been going through and all of this fallen body and fallen world and just battle every day, it's going to end. Jesus is going to come back and we're going to get to go be with him. Whether we get our heads cut off first or he raptures us, whatever it's going to be, we're going to be out of here soon. So keep enduring. Hardness is a good soldier of Christ. Fellowship. Pray. Seek the Lord. Keep getting the word in you, even if it feels boring at times. It's like that. You have to push past that and keep getting his word in you and push past those emotions and Keep trying to deny yourself every day and pick up your cross and follow him. And turn from things that you know God's convicting you of. And ask for help for, to forgive and love people. Love, unfor, unforgive, you know, you can't let unforgiveness, like, get in your heart. You gotta, you gotta find it, fight against it with the love of God. It's from the devil. Jesus says, if you don't forgive, you won't be forgiven. So, try to view people that hurt you with love and mercy. And realize they don't really know what they're doing. They just don't. They don't put themselves in the shoes of other people, which you can't do without being close to the Lord and having His Word and having His Holy Spirit anyway. So, forgive and love.